Emma picked this one out for you to remember us by. This is great. I'll thank her myself as soon as she wakes up. Yeah. You sure you don't want anything? Um, as soon as she gets up from her nap, we'll, we'll fix some dinner and then, then you guys can hit the road. No. No, 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 you're not going anywhere until I get some answers. One of my men found someone that uh, spotted you two together when you were leaving the penthouse. When we were leaving the penthouse. You had me follow? Is that how you knew we were here? I'm sorry. I had no idea it's about okay. it. It's okay. I won't go back to Pine Valley. I'm leaving with Emma. I wouldn't have let anybody take her. Hey, Tad and Dixie are crazy, Ryan. Emma is Andy's no, kid. No, 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 nobody's going to take Emma. Nobody. All right? But if... You understand? If you, if you run, if you sneak away, Tad will make it his life mission to find you. Doesn't matter how far you go. Doesn't matter how deep you go. Tad will find you. For all I know, they're on their way right now. No, I wouldn't do that. Would you? No. I... Look, Annie, you stood your ground against Terry first time around. You were in the right. You're in the right now. Why would you think that Tad and Dixie could take Emma? Why? She doesn't need this pressure right now. She doesn't need to be stalked by you. She doesn't need to be hunted by Tad and Dixie. She doesn't need to prove anything to them okay. about Emma being right. her child. I will handle Tad and Dixie, Jonathan. I will. Okay? But if you just let me speak for a second, you listen to me. You don't get to say what does and doesn't happen to Annie anymore. Okay? I didn't kill a man so someone else could just run off with her child. Would you just please keep your voices down? I don't want Emma to hear any of this. Best thing for you to do here, right now, is to forget that you ever saw us. Okay. Annie, would you give us a few minutes alone? Do you mind? Yeah, I'll be in with Emma. Okay, thanks. Look, please don't hold this against Jonathan. Your brother is... A great guy. Yep, I agree. He is. And I understand why he feels a connection to you and to Emma and why he wants to help you, but... You know what I don't understand is why you think you need to run. Look, since I found out the man that I trusted and married was a sleaze, protecting my daughter is my top, no, it's my only priority. No one gets Emma but me. I would die before I gave her up. Hmm. But why would you need to? She's yours. I mean, I believe you. And it's not like anybody has any legal proof or anything, right? So why sneak away as if they're right? Why not just stick around and prove them wrong? They can't touch you or Emma. They can't. I'm going to make sure of that. So what do you say? Huh? Will you stick around? What is it that you're not telling me? Anymore? I already know Greg Mann's name is on Emma's birth certificate. So, why don't we start there? Why don't you tell me why that is? Greg Madden was a respected OBGYN. At least I thought he was. He delivered Emma. There's no law against that. No, there isn't a law against that. He delivered thousands of babies, including Dixie. Yeah, but they'll use that against me. Whoever murdered Greg Madden is trying to find Dixie's daughter. So what? So what? I mean, if you're telling the truth... I then... am telling you the truth. You said that you believed me. I do. I do. I do believe you. I, sh I should have said... I should have said once you prove that you're telling the truth, then any connection to Greg Madden won't matter. Now, there has to have been other people in the room, right? I mean, when, when you gave birth to Emma, like nurses or something, somebody else that knows she's yours. Yeah, there were other people. Great. No problem. <sighs> What, what can they possibly do? What can they say? Plenty, but nothing that will hurt you. Look, you don't know. Because you're not telling me. Just tell me, please tell me what it is that's got you so freaked out. I'm not leaving. Uh, great. I could use the company. Why don't you fill the time telling me whatever it is that you're holding back? You know everything. Do I? Good. Well, that's good, because then all we need is some proof, you know, to get everybody else to back off, like a uh, DNA test on you 
and Emma, and we can do it in a secure lab like Cambius has. No interference, totally on the up and up, and we can prove David Hayward's full of it. Ted and Dixie will apologize to you, and then you can live your life with Emma completely and totally hassle-free. I can't. I can't do it. You don't understand. Then make me understand. Emma's your daughter. And a DNA test will prove that she's your I don't. I don't even want to stay. I want a fresh start. Maybe we'll we'll go to the beach somewhere. Emma's always on the beach. We can live by the stop, beach. Please, I have to help you. I want to help you, okay? Please. Please tell me what it is that you're hiding. If I take that test, my DNA won't match Emma. 